carousels on websites are a waste of energy. Seriously, are you considering a nice side-scrolling carousel on your website right now? Stop it. Welcome to another episode of my UX design tips and all of those tips are based on my 22 years of experience and over 500 projects that I created so far. Oh, and we'll be putting those together in a free ebook this August. So if you want to get it as soon as it releases, sign up to the newsletter at hype4.academy. Ready to throw that carousel where it belongs? Yeah, let's go. People are used to scrolling vertically more than horizontally. A carousel is all about scrolling to the sides. But why should you? To find out what's under those grayed out dots? Nah. Dots are not informative and most people don't care what's in the next dot. They scroll right down to the next section. The result is your developers are coding a carousel people are not likely gonna even see and they are a pain to code, trust me. Or actually don't trust me, let's ask the expert. Albert? Every time I see a carousel in a design project, I'm like Darth Vader. No. There is 99% chance that you won't be able to code it like on design. If you really need a carousel, use text tabs instead of dots, so at least people know what to expect from the next slide. That may be enough to interest them. Have you ever placed a button in a container and then said to yourself, something's not quite right here? I have an easy fix for you. In your first designs, try to always match the roundness of the shapes in a window. It will make the design flow in a more friendly way. Once you get more experience, you can experiment with this and have a non-matching white space in the roundness, but it's simply a lot more difficult to pull off well. That's a good one. Have you ever seen a green error message with a check mark? How about an error with a random number string as the only explanation on what happened? Yeah, I love that error 251D77Y9. It makes it all so obvious. But if you want to be cool to your users and show them you care, you need to likely tell them a little bit more. But that's easy. Just write short and clear error messages and make sure they're color coded right. Told you it was easy. Now let's answer the age old question. Which type of form field should you go with? The super clean minimal ones from Android? Don't they look clean and minimal? Yeah, no. Most people recognize the traditional rectangular form fields a lot faster than these underlined ones. Sure, they work as well, but they take a little longer to process and why make our brains work longer? Come on, you can do better. Remember that rule of 44 point touch targets for phones? Sure you do. It means that for a comfortable tap on something, it has to be at least 44 by 44 points. If it's bigger, then it's better. If it's smaller, your user is gonna have a bad time. Do you want them to have a bad time? I thought so. So designers make those buttons bigger and are all happy that the user experience is now saved. Yay! Then they work on a web version and make all the controls super small. Well, yeah, most desktops use a cursor that's a more precise way to interact with stuff than a finger. But still, a larger area to click on is gonna make it a lot easier to aim. Avoid small clickable areas or even the OS default small checkboxes and radio buttons. Make them all big and juicy and make the label next to them clickable too. Your users are gonna love you. Your users will thank you by clicking the like button faster when it's bigger. And speaking of like buttons, there is one just below, but I don't believe that it's big enough. Still, you should be able to click it, right? So if you liked the video, please do. And there's one more button next to it called subscribe. It, I think it does something that's pretty cool actually, but you need to click it to actually check it out. And there's this bell next to it. I have no idea what that does, but well, there's only one way to find out, right? And I'm gonna see you next Wednesday with another round. Have a great day. Cheers. Uh -huh.